four types of animal and human behaviors have been researched and studied. They are 1. Instinct 2. Imprinting 3. Conditioning and 4. Imitation Any behavior is instinctive if it is triggered without being based upon any prior experience, that is, in the absence of learning, and is therefore an expression of innate biological factors. The nesting of birds, forming into groups for protection are some examples. Sea turtles, newly hatched on a beach, will automatically move towards the ocean. Honey bees communicate by dancing in the direction of a food source without formal instruction. The role of instincts in determining the behavior of animals varies from species to species. Instinct should be distinguished by a reflex. Reflex is a simple response of an organism to a specific stimulus, such as the contraction of the pupil is in response to a bright light or pulling away the hand when it comes in contact with a hot object. In contrast, instincts are inborn complex patterns of behavior that must exist in every member of the species and that cannot be overcome by power of will. Instincts are inherited behaviors. Imprinting is the term used in psychology to describe any kind of phase sensitive learning, that is, learning occurring at a particular age or a particular life stage that is rapid and apparently independent of the consequences of behavior. This behavior was first observed in chicks. Immediately after hatching, the chicks follow their mother wherever she goes. The other day, I saw a duck crossing a road followed by 10 ducklings. Is this a form of imprinting? Good observation. The ducklings follow their mother immediately after hatching. They also swim with their mother in a short time after hatching. It is natural that they follow their mother. That is right. But scientists have discovered that if the ducklings hatch in the absence of their mother, they would follow any moving object they first see after hatching. So ducklings can imprint on people or dogs and for that matter even big plastic balls. They become socially attached to the first moving object they see after hatching and consider it as its mother. In human computer interaction, baby duck syndrome denotes the tendency for computer users to imprint on the first system they learn and then judge other systems by their similarity to that first system. The result is that users generally prefer systems similar to those they have learnt on and dislike unfamiliar systems. Classical conditioning, also known as Pavlovian conditioning or respondent conditioning, is a form of learning in which the conditioned stimulus or CS signals the occurrence of a second stimulus, the unconditioned stimulus or US. Conditioned response is learnt behavior. For example, in school, when the school bell rings in the morning, students gather for assembly. The next bell rings and students go to their classrooms. In the break time, when the bell rings, students go out of the classrooms for snacks or to play. At the end of the day, when the bell rings again, the students troop out of school to go home. Though the stimulus, that is, ringing of the bell, is same, the responses are different. It is by experience that they have learnt when to perform which function. Let us examine Pavlov's classic example. Conditioning is usually done by pairing the two stimuli, as in Pavlov's classic experiments. The steps of Pavlov's experiment are 1. Pavlov presented dogs with food. The food elicited salivation, an unconditioned response. 2. He rang a bell without bringing food. There was no salivation. 
Hence, there was no response. 3. He rang the bell and gave food. There was salivation. 4. After repeated bell food pairings, just the sound of the bell also caused the dogs to salivate even though the food was not paired with it. He concluded from this experiment that the unconditioned stimulus is the dog food as it produces an unconditioned response, saliva. The conditioned stimulus is the ringing bell and it produces a conditioned response of the dogs producing saliva. The dog salivating when it hears a bell is a learnt response or conditioned response.